Hi, Matt from the Boston Makers here. I'm going to go over how we're going to set up our fabric to cut out the Olsen mask uh, pieces. So I have here some Olsen mask template forms. It'll come in handy. I've also got my rotary cutter. Uh, very good for cutting fabric. And our cutting mat here. And this is the bolt fabric that has been donated by uh, Boston Area Mask Initiative. So what we're going to do is we're going to first roll out enough fabric. Fabric comes on the bolt. It's roughly, uh, let's say, 24 inches wide. And it's folded over on itself, so it's even longer than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it folded as it rolls off the bolt. And we're going to take the edge Try to keep it together, corner to corner, as much as you can. And if you see this is folded along this edge. We're going to fold it back on itself, like this. And I'm going to take my template, and I'm just going to set it down, because our template is laid out on the laser cutter, such that this is the highest, widest, highest shape we're going to have to cut. So we're going to use that as a guide to figure out how deep I want the fold. I'm going to place it on the fold. And I line it up so I give myself a little wiggle room on the top, a little wiggle room on the bottom. Make sure that's perpendicular as it goes across. And that looks good. I'm just going to cut it now. I'll line up my straight edge. Get my rolling cutter. Make sure this is going to make it all the way across. Yep. Just use my rolling cutter all the way across. It just comes out like that. Now, when we put this in the laser cutter, we want to face the folded edge towards the air as it runs across it. Because if you don't, it'll catch the edge of the fabric and flip it up and it'll be flying around inside the laser cutter when it's being cut. Next step is for me to go over to the iron. The ironing board station where I'm going to iron it before putting it in. Alright, we're just going to place the fabric here on the ironing board and just give it a little steam. Make sure your edges are lined up, obviously. And having it have a little steam on it. Keeps it nice and flat because if you have creases in the fabric, it may distort the shape when it's cut. Also, a little extra weight on the on the fabric from the water is is good for keeping it in place on the laser cutter. Okay, setting up the laser bed for uh, cutting. We're going to take our nicely ironed uh, folded fabric. I'm going to place it carefully in here. And remember that I put my folded edge on this side because the air is going to be blowing over the top of it. And if you put it the other way around, as soon as you turn your back, which you shouldn't, this will fly up on you and get all messy. So make sure your folded edge is here. It's going to line up my laser head. Now, you want to be careful along this edge. If this is the edge where the, they advertise what kind of fabric it is, you want to make sure you push it over enough so it misses that. Otherwise, the cut will give you all that commercial information right on the nose of your mask, which is not good. You want it to look nice. So we're going to line it up maybe about half an inch in from the edge of where our fabric is. Give myself a little room on the bottom and the top so I don't have to get it exactly on that edge but not so much that we're wasting fabric. Make sure my exhaust is on and we'll start this cut.
power is at 100. The speed velocity is at 12. And our wavelength is 1000. So hot and fast is what we like. Anyway, let's see how we did it. pieces because of how we lined it up. Eight, four face pieces. And four cheeks. So take your parts stack them and they're interleaved which is great for later in production so just leave them in these stacks they should match each other okay so here is our job we're calling it Olsen lineup parts cut and if I go up to you and turn on WYSIWYG and we zoom out a little bit you can see what I've got on the plate here. I've got the face, I've got the mouth, cheek, and another mouth. And of course this means we're gonna get more mouth parts than we do the others. But this what is what fits nicely and maximizes what we can get out of a swath of bolt that's been folded over once on itself. Okay, so our last done run is done, I'm just gonna realign the job with the crosshairs because I put the laser in the position I want it at on the cut bed um, relative to where I place my fabric. I'm going to reset this job and we're just going to note here that our power is at 100, velocity is at 12, and the wavelength is 1000. All right, so it's uh, under Boston Makers General. There's a setting called cotton and that's what we've been using to cut this it's going to make 16 passes i believe which uh ends up doing the job nice and clean um, any less than that it tends to leave little threads or you know it doesn't quite want to come up clean so that's what i've been doing um, again we can go to our view go to WYSIWYG and you see how it's going to line up here on the cut and this does a pretty good job of using most of the fabric. Again, as you're lining up this edge on the cut bed, keep in mind that there's that margin on the edge of the fabric that advertises the make and design of the designer. So make sure that the nose is past that for, for the cut because you don't want that to end up on the front of your mask. So just keep that in mind. You've got, you've got enough room over here on this end to make up for it so you can slide the start of this job down a little bit off of this edge.